and we are back. <laughs> I believe the first thing I need to do is take a look at equipment and ornaments. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, you have the thing that makes you immune to everything, except KO. Uh, Joshua has... Okay. And okay. You should have prevention against mute. And... Hmm. Ooh. Well, that seems like the obvious choice, actually. I don't suppose... No. Okay. When did I get this? Right, well, all, all of your gets it. You should have dark blind and... Hmm. Let's go with... You know what? It should probably actually be Seal. Preventing movement is kind of a big deal for this guy. Oh, that's what, that, that's what it put on there. Okay, next is Orbment. Okay. Mirage only for this one, otherwise it could be anything. Okay, well... We'll come back to you. This guy, though. Okay, this is Earth only. And... This is Earth only. I mean, a lot of options. Um, let's go with Mute. <clears throat> if I put water in here... Some healing would be good. Uh, what do I need for... Okay, I need gold. Okay, increasing either your movement or range would be a good idea, I think. But that's more stuff. Is it stuff that matters, though? I mean, I'm not sure that it is. Okay, well, arts range, yeah, we're gonna go with plus move. Here, we can do something like, um, speed up is what I'm thinking of, but I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's because it's here. This is the speed up. Because he's the one who's the highest level, so him going fast would be good. Um... Do I not have haze? Oh, Olivia. I've changed my mind. Okay, you have an AoE attack, you have some healing, you have some quick stuff. Magic-wise, I think you're looking good, so what's just a good... 
What is just a good ability for you? I mean, plus range it would still be amazing on you because your range is nothing. EP cut I think would be really good as well. Because, hmm. yeah, Zin has a lot of good e um, what, what, what are they called? Skills? Arts? Whatever. Okay, just a sec. Um... Oh, you know what, actually? Oh, it's time only. Okay. That would be why. That would be why. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna give you EP cut. Wait, no. We aren't. That's the wrong one. <coughs> it's the other thing I wanted to boost, not EP. Okay. EP cut is more for Olivier. You know what? Let's just give you plus hit so you don't miss. Now, Olivier, you are gonna get this. You are gonna get whatever one of these gives the most what. Yeah, that one. I can't boost his range anymore. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, cast time plus is probably a good idea for you as well. But I want to see if I can get some cool stuff in here. Although what that cool stuff might be, I'm not sure. Like, I feel like it's not really worth it doing the fi fire on him. Because, I mean, look. You, Olivia already has pretty low defense, okay? Um, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of things. Mm, I don't really need that. I think casting time is still probably the way to go here. Just for a more effective magic user. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Um... Hmm, only two crafts, no S craft. Level 30. Yeah, I definitely need to level up Joshua and Estelle a bit. Okay, well, um... Hmm... Well, I'm probably gonna get the chance to do so. Let's... Uh, let's see... South, east, that goes to the castle... What is over? Okay. What's over here? Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Oh. Ah, I see. Okay, um, I kind of want to check in on that sister that we re rescued. Okay, I mean, taking in a child and making her work as your s servant seems a little sketchy to me, but... news is around here, isn't it? We should go visit them as well. Thank you so much for helping me yesterday. A thousand pardons. You two got a fine mess on my account. No problems at all. I wonder if I could have gotten a mission to rescue her had I walked around to the church first. Well, whatever. Since the Dark Age following the Great Collapse, it's fallen upon the Septian Church <coughs> to help illuminate the road to peace and prosperity. This cathedral has been active ever since the Dark Age. Oh, me. I can see how that would be a problem. all the food here, right? Yes. <clears throat> okay, then. I mean, if that works for you, then great. I can sort of... I can completely sympathize wanting to avoid crowds, but at the same time, I do think there is something special to seeing something happen alive. It is not quite the same experience to watch something after the fact or to hear the after action report for that matter. <laughs> Neil's like an editor too, so I imagine that is a problem. Oh! I bet that we'll be able to get a job for the liberal news then. I want to say, you see, I actually want to say the rebel news because I'm in a, it, look, look, it's a game leak thing. It's just what comes to my, it's just what comes to my mouth first. So I need to slow myself down to make sure I say the proper name. <laughs>
Okay. Weapon shop. Oh. People in handcuffs were escorted to buy weapons? That's strange. Okay, I can get a new weapon for Zin and for Livir. I should probably get both of those. Also more- <sighs> This stuff is so expensive! <laughs> Wait, why am I not wearing these? Uh, who's the lowest defense? I mean, Joshua won't get as much from it, though, is the problem. So, discounting Joshua, it would be Olivia. Who cannot wear them. Um... Oh, Joshua's already wearing them. Okay, then. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Down here? Aha! <clears throat> hmm. I can get a ton of Earth Sepeth in the on the road, so that is what we will that's not even enough money. Ugh. What a pain. I'm gonna need to come back here. I mean, it sounds to me like you should have got up with her to go to the arena. Such as head wounds mean nothing to me, so long as there exists a spark of love to fuel the towering inferno of my heart. <laughs> Olivia, please don't stop being you. Ever. You're you're fantastic, you're terrific, I love you. Fishing gear is in high demand. Oh, that's kind of neat. What do the upstairs people have to say? Oh? Well, that's kind of... I, ha I cannot say I've experienced that, but it sounds like something like that would be real. Let's see... Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, what course do I not have? I am missing... Action 3. <laughs> so I need a ton of time, Sepeth. And I am missing... That's it. Okay. I need a ton of time, Sephiroth. I mean, I need a little bit of everything, but mostly I need time. Um... So, I'm gonna tr Well, I mean, I'm gonna just try to generally get everything, but I am going to need to focus in particular on fighting things that drop 
you know, let's actually just time, no time, no time, time. Okay. Egg birds, sharks, and insects. No requests at all. That's a little frustrating. Okay, well, let's go fill up our CP at least. Wait, there's a bracer there. I guess I'll need to wait for the next battle. Um, yeah, we'll go this way. You don't drop what I need. You drop fire. Okay, let's just, you know, let's just look. Oh, it turned around. Joshua, you're not supposed to miss. And Bug, you're not supposed to attack Estelle. She doesn't need the CP. <laughs> okay. Um. Enjoy the show. Let's see. Savor the victory. I'm not sure that I really want to grind enough time Sepeth to make action three. I really want action three, but like at ten at about ten per enemy, that's like oof. That's like fifty battles. <laughs> Probably a little bit less, but it's it's a lot. I don't want to fight that much. Is there anything? I guess not. Okay, um... Sure, I mean, you respawned. I mean, I'm not going to turn down fights that are presented to me, but also, I am pretty sure I'm not going to get enough time seven to make the course that I want. They messed with the wrong guy. I may get enough earth seven to buy those weapons, though. Let's see. I know when I'm fighting the sharks that they can call enemies. I don't think that these do that, though. Not that I've noticed, at least. Like, 
if I fight if I fight any sharks, I need to not kill it right away because it will call more enemies for me to kill, which is, you know, economical. And then those enemies will even drop more separate than the original sharks. So, you know, win-win. Okay, the way I'm going to do this is I can hit you until you're mostly dead. So, about there. And then... And then I'm going to do a whole lot of nothing. Uh, you know what? I should have probably moved Joshua further away from it, actually. <laughs> Just because Joshua has low defense. It did not summon more. Okay, we'll give it one more chance to summon. And then if it doesn't go for it, it won't- doesn't go for it. It's not the end of the world. We'll just try again later. I mean... I'll kill it if I do this, but it's seven. Nope. I'll- I- okay. Well. Do you know what? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Really? You both missed? Eh. Whatever. This guy needs it the most anyway. Savor the victory. We earned it. I suppose I'm gonna be able to make a lot of food before the tournament as well. I should probably do that. Why not? I doubt I can hit you, much less damage you. Sure enough. Oh, it turned around. is that the martial arts tournament is supposed to take like I'm thinking for my step of the collection purposes the martial arts tournament is supposed to take multiple days which means I will likely have multiple opportunities well first of all it's gonna drop a lot of seven in that tournament for sure but also it's probably going to so I might just get enough from there um but also, I might be able to leave a game once I'm closer to the, my total. Maybe. I mean, I'm not. Look, I'm not. I'm not holding my breath for it. TBH. Oh, why won't you summon more? How frustrating. with the wrong guy. Hmm. Okay, this one, these ones will summon more. I've seen it happen before.
Okay, maybe not that one, because I just sealed it. I don't know, kind of 50-50. Okay, well, I mean, the petrified one will definitely not summon more. <sighs> this is the difference between having two party members and four. Uh, eh, not quite. Okay, at least one of them summoned a backup. And I honestly, I may as well just kill the petrified one because it's it's not doing anything. It is not doing anything. But also, I want to kill this because it's actually a hit pretty hard. <laughs> um, nothing is out of range for Olivia. I can probably even get away with this. Hoping that the big one hits Zen, because he can take it. Okay, you already summoned the shark, so let's kill you. The big shark, that is. And of course the big shark is safe. Shard? Shark. Um... This way I can get a little free healing at least. Also, Joshua's not yet at 100. I guess Estelle's not either, but... No, let's, let's, let's kill it off with the Zen. With the wrong yeah, like that's still a ton of experience. It's still in Joshua have nearly leveled up a game. I mean, they're halfway to it. So I guess nearly is in air quotes, maybe. <laughs> but look, I just got 50 times Sephiroth. At that rate, I can hit the number I need in no time. But the problem is most battles aren't like this. I'll fight you, though. Now, you may actually summon an enemy, so I'm only going to kill one of you right away. Just to... Okay, well, that didn't take very long. Huh. Okay, well, you know, I want to see if it does anything. Uh, but then I got the, the top... the Sepith boost, and it's like, how can I not use a Sepith boost? It's probably not going to summon anything, you know? Uh, we're good to go. I mean, that wasn't a terrible payoff. Better than fighting a single bee. Not as good as, the, as fighting a shark, though. Or several sharks, rather. It is better than fighting a single shark. Okay, well, I'm pretty sure that what's going to happen here is that I'm going to stall until I get to that step of the game. But, you know, I guess we, we will see. It, it's certainly looking like that's the case, though. <laughs> yep, there it is. Almost. Joshua and Zinn are just too fast. Which I guess makes sense, because I've given you both Sepeths to make them faster. Oh, it's still alive! Okay, well, I want to see if it summons something. It did not! 
It did try to inflict a status effect on me, though, which I don't much care for. Every single time I come through here, I go to this gate, and there's not even a guard out front. It's like, it's going to be really easy to sneak in there when it inevitably happens, is what I'm saying. Let's hopefully not petrify one this time. Uh, that might... Okay, well, you know, I didn't kill it, but I did s seal it, so it's not gonna summon anything, but also... I don't... You know, I may as well just kill you. You're not gonna summon anything. Okay, we got one backup? We got two backups! Perfect! This is the ideal scenario. Now we can quickly kill the little ones. And then move on to the big ones. I'm not sure that I would really want to fight three of these big ones at once actually, to be honest. So I feel like this is probably ideal. Uh, you're not close enough to Zin Estelle. That's a little disappointing. Uh, I can probably start using crafts as well if I feel- Oh hey, that reminds me. AT delay. In an area. Ooh, neat. Uh, if you have- no, you're not fast enough. Okay. I wanted to try and kill this and also delay this, but it's- it's not- it's not gonna happen. Oh! Huh. That is not ideal! Now I need to re-earn all of that CP. Eh. Wait, is this the right one? Yes. Please kindly do not kill Joshua. I mean, don't kill Estelle either. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, I think Estelle's gonna be on healing duty here. Yes, she's definitely gonna be on healing duty. Oh no, Estelle, you're too slow! Well... I mean, not exactly what I was going for. Take that. But I should level up, so. <laughs> Enjoy the show. Heartbreak. Oof, and look at that. Mm. 
nothing here. We're gonna extremely go in on this shark. The big ones are kind of, kind of scary. Um. Aha! kill this guy, but whatever. You did not! Excellent. Sure, good enough. Come on. A little more strength for... No, you're not summoning a big shark. Okay, no, there we go. I'll take it. Zink can go over there, Joshua can go here, or yeah, here, where he will not be murdered. Although, at max HP, I'm pretty sure he would be fine. Oh, what?! It has a chance to just instant kill. Oh, that is not fair! Oh boy. That does explain how Joshua died before, though. Um. Oh, you know what? I've made a critical error. <laughs> yeah! Bit of a mistake there. Little bit. going to need to be more careful in fighting those things. But at the same time, like... Uh, I think the only one who needs it is you. Oh. You have so much HP, Zen! Um... Yeah, I'm at like... I'm at nearly 600. I need 800 time. So, fighting those things has been hugely profitable. Like... It might be worth it to... <laughs> oh! Have I not been here? Yes. Perfect. Oh, I've just walked into this one face first. That was a mistake! Okay, I have decided that one big fish is enough for me. So... Oh, really?
<laughs> right. Well, first we're just gonna kill this one. Let's try a sniping shot. You're feeling lucky. Well, that was kind of cool. Um. Oh, neat. Kill it, then petrify it. No, 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 the other way around. And it's form of another big shark. Ah. Oh, actually, you can... Aha! Okay, we petrified it. Terrific. You, you, you can't quite reach Joshua. Um, Zin probably can, though. Okay, that one is blocked off. Turn around. Okay, so it seems like there's a two big shark maximum. I'm certain that if I did things right, that or wrong, depending on how you look at it, we I could get more than that. But I feel pretty. I, I don't. I don't think I really want to fight more than two. Certainly not at one time. I mean, I wouldn't want to fight them at all if it weren't for the other considerations. <laughs> Right after saying that, I set myself up for fighting three at once. Oh boy. Let's see if I can do something about this. Okay, well that's a solid maybe right there. No, I can't... Okay, well... Hmm... I think... I think we'll just go with Flicker. Waste it. That was for the big sharks. Okay. You are definitely using quick draw.
Okay, it's going somewhere random. I am happy with this. Well, that was kind of cool. Okay, one down. That's coming for me now. I don't think Joshua can reach here, and I won't be able to kill it without Joshua. Yeah. So... Hey. We'll do it like that. Estelle will use Comet, because I don't want her to run up to it. Yeah. Because, yes, I was just far enough away. Yeah. Okay. Um... Just don't miss Joshua. Good job. That's that. Let's move out. Okay, we're at level 28. Look at all that sepit. Um Nice. Wait. Have I been over here? I think I have. Okay, that's a Warbat. Warbat air quotes. You drop wind, Seppa. Uh... Yeah, okay. I don't need wind immediately, but if I end up with Shara in my party, well, I'm gonna need it then. Just to fully upgrade her orbment. I'll need about 200 for that, I think. Which, I mean, I'm obviously a little bit short on. Really nice. <laughs> okay, um Enjoy the show. I need eighty six more. Uh win Sepeth. Not win Sepeth, sorry. Uh time Sepeth. Okay, so we are going to wait so that I can use that second separate boost. Uh, we're good to go. Okay, now I need 56 more. And sure enough, I have been here because I saw the. Fire, gold, and silver. I mean, I need a tiny bit more gold if I get in the Shara Shara scenario, but it's such a small amount that I'm not worried about it. I'm going to pick up enough gold for that. 
Um, just from the tournament. I can pretty much guarantee it. Missing guys. No, stop missing. Do the opposite of that. Take that. Ninety-nine. Okay, that's only thirty-five left. Somehow we're actually doing this. Okay, we are above 800. Of course, I'll need even more for the share scenario, but you know, that might not even happen. Actually, no. Okay, you know what? Let's be real here. I have been told that the for the final dungeon of this game, I get to pick any two characters. So, I do know that I will need that stu that Sepeth if I pick Shara for the final dungeon. I don't know if I'll have to use her before then, though. I may have, I may need to, or maybe not. I don't know. I'd rather be prepared in any case. And uh, more stuff that's still good just because I need a lot of money. I have weapons and armor to buy, damn it. Right, we're good to go. Speaking of, um Yeah, that's that's probably all fine. And I think I'm okay with the stone Joshua being at level 28. Savor the victory. I think that I think that is high enough. And if it isn't, I guess we'll go come out and fight more sharks. I, I hopefully it's enough. <laughs> Okay. First to the Orbit Shop. Orbital Factory, whatever. Same difference. Uh, quartz. We need this one. Okay, does that give you any new powers, Joshua? It does not. What about... Zin? It actually does give him new powers, but I'm gonna give this to Joshua anyway, and the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want to take cast 2 from him and give it to Olivier. 
Because I think it's more useful to have cast two on the, the dedicated magic user. As opposed to Joshua, who is really not much of one. Really, look, Joshua's a glass cannon. We all know this. We all know this. Okay. Convert a butt-ton of this. And let's do 200 of each of these. Okay, that is at least enough for the weapons. I would like to have one of these as well. Uh, but it's so expensive! So we'll just take the weapons for now. Yeah, that's plus t w 10? Wait. Yeah, that's plus 10. And for you, that is plus 15. Okay. Let's head over here. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that's the accessory shop. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sort of wondering that as well. As interesting as the articles themselves are... Wait, no, what? Okay, you don't... You, you don't like Dorothy's articles, but you love her photos. I can... I can sympathize with that, I guess. Um, yeah, that's true. Depending on the type of, type of tea you're making, you can reuse tea leaves, even. I wouldn't recommend it something like a black tea where the, you want a strong flavor, but look, oolong? Oolong is all about that. Good oolong tea leaves you can use four or even five times, and some people even swear that the you shouldn't even drink the first time you seep with them. Is I really like it a lot. <laughs> okay. Time to Oh Heal C P. Hmm. Okay. Actually though. Cures KO. That's a strength boost. Cure seal. Speed. The store CP. Hmm. 
Let's see. There should be one of these that's really cheap that store restores uh, kale. I'm trying to find that one. Ah, right there. It's kind of gross, but you know what? It's cheap kale restore. Sometimes you need that, I think. Okay, now let's do ones that aren't gross. Um, I don't really think I need plus strength. Curing seal is good. Plus 30% speed is a lot, so that might be worth it. Um, cure faint. Cure, oh, that one. Uh, Poison and Confuse. Yeah, okay. You know, like, it's cheap. And I still have enough for a few of these, right? Yes. Okay. I have a little bit of money left over to replace some of the inventory I just used. Just in case I need it for something. Fresh milk, let's get a bunch of that. Mm. I have 50 flour. Okay, that's a lot. Um. Okay, that should be enough for a while. Now, last thing to do before we get started with the fights, let's save. heard the news, I thought to myself, how is he going to fight all by himself? Hey, wait a minute. Are you the ones from yesterday? Would you now? Well then, you'll need to fill out these forms, please. <laughs> that is so Olivia. Wandering lyric, troubadour extraordinaire, ambassador of peace and hearts most fair. Till the extra E, and don't spare the spittle. My dear, you need not bother with the postscript. 
your diction sings. If you wish to know more, however, I'd be happy to teach you the proper readings. Perhaps over tea? We have already determined the pairings, but to discourage wagering, we do not announce them until before the match begins. You can guess your opponents just prior to the match, though, by taking note of who else is in your ready room. Here, this is for you and your teams. Um... Okay, right there. Your card, please. Aha! Part of the tournament, I see. Please note that the tournament participants are asked to remain within the arena's walls until the end of the day's matches. Have you made all the necessary preparations for a day of hot, hot action? Your waiting room is the blue team room, just inside the hall on the right. The blue team is on the right. Look at you guys, all calm and collected. <clears throat> How did you make it through the preliminaries? had all of Ruan pissing up their collective pants in fear of us. I don't know about that. I don't, th I don't think that's actually true. <laughs> I knew you guys were in Gransel yesterday to watch your buddies fight in the preliminaries. And you're back again today to pick up my bus. Didn't you learn your lesson the last time? We won the prelims and made it here fair and square. Clearly you all should clean up your act, your collective act and join the Bracer Guild. You're supposed to be on the other side? <laughs> they were expecting to pick a fight, but Estelle is too ami amicable for them. Okay, so what teams do I know there are? I know there are them. Um, I know that there are is a team of special ops. There's the soldiers, I guess, because they're right there. There's the bracers, who are also right here. Um, there's us, of course. There... Wait. Soldiers, other soldiers, bracers, other bracers, punks. That's five. I'm guessing that... The 
the chapter one vi villains, the, th the Sky Bandits, are probably going to show up. So that, I think, I think they will be a team. So that will be six. That's two teams that are unaccounted for. The Bracers, I think, either we will fight the Bracer, the other Bracers in the finals, or they will be eliminated in the semifinals by the people we fight in the finals. Um, either way, we're probably going to be fighting, well, those it, those idiots from Ruan first, and then the second round, I'm guessing, is going to be the Thieves. Then the third round will be the finals. All we have to do is wait patiently until our turn. They'll call for us then. I'm in the moments just after the curtains rise, but before the diva sounds her first refrains. Quick, hand me a glass, that I may catch this feeling and drink deep its bitter malt. Mm-hmm. Well, some more than others. Maybe t talking to the other teams will help calm some nerves. Okay, there's two teams of soldiers in here. So that leaves all but one team accounted for. Hey Estelle, since we're in the same room, that means we won't be pitted against each other today. Hey, newbies! Hey, Annalise! Looks like you got onto Zin's team. Not too shabby. Hmm. That is actually good advice if you are ha prone to anxiety or panic attacks. You can help con your body tends to flood with anxiety when you get a lot of, well, no kidding, no, it tends to flood with adrenaline when you get a lot of anxiety. And you can control how the adrenaline affects you by taking conscious, deep breaths. <laughs> uh, and it also helps you not hyperventilate, so you know, there's that. I guess I should say deep, long breaths, actually, for because if you take deep, quick breaths, then you will hyperventilate. <laughs> and then you'll probably pass out, <laughs> which is not great. Okay, well, if I had to guess, the mystery team number eight is probably going to be another military team. But I mean, it could be something different. I don't. I don't know. So, hmm. hmm. Without further ado, let's announce the fight card for the first bout. Southside Blue Team, Bracer Guild, Grenzel Branch. The team captain is Kurt. Northside Red Team, Royal Army Assault Gap. Yeah. Okay, there it is. There's team number eight. I guess I haven't had it yet confirmed that the Sky Bandits will be a team, but I feel pretty confident that they will be. I, I'm gonna go on a limb here. Uh, actually, no. I am completely certain that the Bracers will win. Although it does seem like these soldiers will put up a better fight than the last ones did. 
they seem to be in a similar damage and HP area as the Bracers, at least before special techniques come in. Because the Bracers are going to absolutely murder them once they start using crafts. As I said. <laughs> okay, so serious talk. I'm genuinely not sure that I will be able to beat these bracers with my current team. Um, so uh, that'll be interesting if it comes down to that. By my art. Not as you appear. They did it, yeah. Okay, so Intelligence Division beats Sol beats Border Patrol, or possibly Skybends beat Border Patrol. Then the one who doesn't get the Border Patrol get the uh, get the garrison. Feels different from the prelim matches, much harder to stay focused. Sure enough, I was pretty sure that this would be the case. Ice cream. I could go for some ice cream right now. But I probably shouldn't. Okay, let's beat these jerks up again. <laughs> you do not have a chance of revenge, Dean. Watch, watch your mouth. <laughs> she won't kill you, but she will make you wish you were dead. like an excellent formation for Flicker. Okay, well, I have to admit, you it does seem you have indeed improved. Oof, look at all that HP. damage than Hurricane. The, in theory. Let's see. I should probably heal Joshua.
And this is a pretty good formation for me to just let loose with magic from Olivia. Okay, well, um, that was going to do this anyway, frankly. Um, <laughs> it works. was overkill healing. The only person who needed it was Joshua. I should be a little bit more careful about, well, overcommitting, I guess? Right, okay. I'm really glad right now that I gave the better casting uh, quartz to all the fear. <laughs> I love it. I should be careful that he'd not kill still me, though. I am beating you that easy. Alright, we're good to go. Do you know what? I think I actually got more from the sharks. <laughs> They were arguably more dangerous as well. Now, now, don't get so discouraged. To be honest, I'm impressed. You gave us a good run for a mural. You should all, you should all, put your criminal ways behind you and join the Bracer Guild. I'd like to think that a change of heart is born of a desire to follow my shining moral example. Well, I think it's more likely that uh, a gate made them do it. <laughs> the moment one falls in love is as quick as infinity itself. Okay. Wait, the Lieutenant Reed. Okay. Well, I mean, it's the Intelligence Division, right? Oh, I was right! It's the Sky Bandits! Okay. Sure. Whatever. 
Yeah, that sounds like something the Duke would do. soldiers are absolutely the punching bags of this tournament. Like seriously. <laughs> Take we are definitely going to fight these jerks in the second round. invite pirates into the castle for a dinner party. Oh, to be a fly on the wall for that little soiree. <laughs> no kidding. Garrison versus the Intelligence Division. Led by the Lieutenant. Okay. see the Bracer team losing against the Intelligence Division. Not unless they cheat. Which, you know, is not... It's something that could happen. I think we will probably be fighting the other Bracers in the finals. Okay, um... Huh. What? Ugh. Ugh. Estelle, Joshua, and I are also aces in the same hole, then, since we too missed the preliminaries. Perhaps that bodes a while for us. The trick is to come late. I'm okay. N no need to worry. I was just taken aback at that swordsmanship. Ooh, 
that's enough money to buy one set of armor. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, it's these jerks. <laughs> Say, have you considered putting your criminal ways behind you and joining the Bracer Guild? <laughs> okay, that's enough of that one. Um... If we have another chance, we'll be happy to have a rematch. Oh, what's the big deal? If we keep up with our own training, we'll be fine. Ooh! It'll open up that barrel dock passage in the west block. It leads to a huge underground system. Oh, neat. Sounds like an adventure for day two. Or day three for the next day of the tournament. Maybe we'll even get some quests for down there. Maybe. Uh, probably a good call there, Joshua. <laughs> You should stop rooting for the. Well, no, the Sky Bennets did win. Um. Actually, I want to see no liberal moves. Okay. You badmouth your sister a lot. Like, why are you so committed to seeing your sister fail? Kitty's Guide to Savoring Delicious Tea. Rule number two. Always use freshly boiled water. Is that true? I I don't know about that. I do know the ideal temperature for tea also varies depending on what kind of tea you're using. Um, black tea should be a high temperature, but it shouldn't see it should not seep very long. Green tea and oolong should be a lower temperature. Uh, but all teas should be low a lower temperature than coffee because. Water that is hot enough to make coffee will burn your tea leaves. 
Uh, no, don't, don't do this. This is bad advice. If you put boiling water on tea, you will burn your tea. You want it, you want hot water, but you want it a few degrees below boiling. Like in the, in the 90 to 95 degree Celsius range, depending on the kind of tea, some might go a little bit lower. Usually, usually you don't want it higher than 90, about 95, like, maybe 98, I don't know. It's been a while since I've looked at the temperatures. I mostly prefer green, tea, green tea and oolong, so I tend to do the ones that have lower temperatures. Hmm. Um, Olivia. <laughs> okay, let's see. Curly Jefferson? Okay. There's an interest exam tomorrow? I want to go on the fishing quest! Okay. I really do, though. <laughs> tough alone, so if you put all four of them together, they're like more tough. They're like super tough. Seventh look like, by the way. Eh, could be better. Could be worse. There's something about the idea of a seventh powered vacuum cleaner that I just find fascinating. Have enough money to buy a shield coat. Just one, though. We are gonna throw that right on to Joshua, I think. Or Estelle? Yeah, we'll both run on Joshua. Mm. Well, I have blown all of my money in one place, so...
Wait, what? What they need to do is wait for the right moment, pin down the opponent with orbital gunshots, then move in for the kill! They switch between offense and defense is terrible! So... Wow, she's a fan. Okay, let's go in here. Still no requests. Grant already reported in. So how was it? pretty tough, but the commander was, like, on a different level. Okay, so... Hmm. Yeah. What indeed? The intel division is new, and Colonel Richard suppressed all information regarding them since their official inception. That includes information on the lieutenant. No, we just need to know who we're facing, that's all. Anything that can give us an edge. Oh? Captain Amalthea. The witch used Tita to- oh. She's traveling through all the major cities. Her arrival was unexpected and caused all civilian airship lines to run late. We've got all branches investigating her trip very carefully. Okay. Well, um... To this area. Oh? gonna get an interview and well <laughs> I haven't seen him you, sounds like you need Dorothy wait a second I just noticed um hmm okay then that stairway looks a little bit iffy. Must be. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna save that for tomorrow. Oh? Interesting. Telling us that the Royal Guardsmen were the terrorists. Hmm. You know, I think you might be onto something there, Duncan. But, uh, careful you say that too, because, like, <laughs> there are people who will hurt you. Hmm. 
She hasn't gotten lost again. Um, <laughs> okay. I guess that sort of relationship happens sometimes. Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. The princess, you say. I'm still quite convinced that the princess is Chloe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I imagine that is a problem. <laughs> doesn't bother to talk to me when he gets home. Okay. Then there should be one more shop around... Not a shop, I guess, but a place here. Then we can go to the inn. If my, if my mom or I didn't join him on his little trips, he'd just slog the whole day and make us feel bad. everything, right? Yep. To the hotel. <clears throat> you sure know how to keep a fellow wait- oh, it's Niall. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, then I won't tell you. I'm doing interviews with the tourney contestants for my article. I figured you folks would be my best bet for getting the inside story. I was hoping to get a chance to ambush you for an interview at the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Ha! You wound me in the quick, kid. To the quick. <laughs> I've been like a big brother to you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, and now you think I'm nothing but some news hound. <laughs> oh, shut it. If that's how you're going to be, then I'm leaving. And you're coming with me. Um... <laughs> There's this quaint little eatery right next door to where I work. It's the perfect place to sit and talk. I mean, as long as you're buying meal. Curry with authentic spices. I actually don't really like curry. I I have a problem with like really complex flavors, and curry tends to be very heavily spiced, um, which can be a problem for me. We were just in that big match, so we're pretty hungry, and I'm not about to smell food without eating it. 
<laughs> Damn straight you will. I mean... Oh? What's Dorothy working on, I wonder? Nothing beats ribs covered in sauce. If you say so. I mean, ribs are pretty good. But I wouldn't say that nothing beats them. I think there are several things that beat them. Way to eat up a man's page. <laughs> no, no. It was a great meal. And great meals don't come cheap. Okay, now. You were saying something about an interview. <laughs> hmm. I heard a little from Dorothy about the kidnapping of Zeiss. Look, let me get right to the point. I know you've got Colonel Richard by the proverbial tail. I just need to know how hard you're holding on. I knew he was crooked. Before that interview in our magazine bumped up his popularity, he wasn't really well known or worth paying attention to. Seems like this guy has been planning his moves every step of the way. <clears throat> hmm. Duke Dunan. He's taking advantage of the Queen's poor health and acting like he owns Grenzel Castle, alright? Well, we could definitely use fresh intel ourselves. As long as he scratches our backs, let's scratch his. We would have told you sooner, but anything we say from here on has to be completely off the record. Ah, shit. I'm not gonna like this, am I? That's just... no way. Are you really serious? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Wait, were they buying the arson? Uh, I guess. General Morgan is at the top of the chain of command, and even he is basically under arrest. All of the terrorist-style activities are being made out to look like the guardsmen are doing it. An envelope of nothing to cover except for this damn tournament. Hey, wait a minute. All right then. Since I can't do anything as a reporter, I might as well pitch in. I've got a few sources, with fingers in places the guild would never go. Let me deal with that. <laughs> Hopefully it is. Colonel Richard, Captain Amalthea, and Second Lieutenant Lawrence. Mm hmm. Probably, yes. I do know a few army folks. That seems fair. 
Estelle and Joshua returned to their hotel room, where they retired early for the night. The next morning... Mm hmm And we're definitely going to go down there. There's probably all sorts of neat stuff that we haven't seen. Maybe we can even get a guild job. Maybe. By nine for a ten o'clock get together. Yeah, you're maybe taking it a little too far. Just, 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 just a smidgen. I feel like that husband may come home to find his fishing rods have been vandalized. <laughs> Oof. Okay. Cheer for us! We can do it! <laughs> sure, why not? Mm -hmm. Early this morning to go to the general store. Oh! You see, the ravens are tur slowly turning over a new leaf. Now they just need to... Yeah, you, 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 you know where I'm going with that one. Um... I would not advise that. Sweet. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Looks like it. Yeah, I mean, I'm with you. I am with you on this. <laughs> Okay then. I mean, he seems to care more about service, at providing a service, than he does about making money off of it. Which I can certainly respect, but might be a little bit frustrating for a business partner. Have new ones? No, you do not. <laughs> okay, then. Sure. 
Oh, there's actually one. It's a it's a monster. Okay. We'll go into the sewers and fight the monster. Hmm. He'll even attend the birthday celebration all this year. Oh, I wonder who the master of this house actually is. I wonder. It might be someone we've met. interesting stash for a clergy member to have. For every summer, a winter. For every noon, a midnight. The cycle from seed to harvest is a wheel, turning without beginning or end. reasonable to me. <laughs> uh, Cathedral's Chapel. Okay. Okay, I've made up my mind. Um... Okay, but you're still jobless, right? I get to sit here at home and wait for the ports to reopen so I can go back to work. Joy. No one's in here. That's still for sale. <laughs> okay. Best location for sh Okay. Long tenure at the castle, you say. I don't think Miles is going to be too hot on that idea. Wait, what? Oh, I missed the last line. Airship. Okay. Right, well, into the sewers we go. Well, this is a thing. Um, Mad Snail. If I can get to that Sepith down there, that would be ideal. The Sepith boost. Take that. Uh, preferably without taking any damage, though.
Okay, um, this is probably fine. It was fine. That won't be, though. Just don't miss a, a spell. Just please don't miss. Good job. Okay, I saw gold, water, and time. Okay, then. Wait, did it turn out? I guess it did not. Spell are the ones with low CP, so ideally they can stop missing. Okay, that goes to a new area, and so does this. Well, we'll do this first. Oh, this goes deeper! Nope, changed my mind. Weak against fire, which I guess makes some sense to me. Okay, I saw wind and fire and silver. Excuse me, in there. Um, this is probably okay. It was okay. Okay, yep, lots of wind and fire. And more savory opinions. Oh, there are so many. This is an actual maze. I haven't even found any items. Oh, there's something. And there's a way down. And a box is over there. I mean, I kind of wish the game had given me quests for this part, because it seems pretty clear that it wants me to grind up my level at this stage, but I mean, like, telling me to go into this dungeon without giving me a reason to go in here is kind of, other than just level up, is kind of, it feels kind of iffy to me. Like, it's not, it's not good signposting. Don't be shocked now, but it's empty. Okay, I was pretty sure this would connect like that. Uh, not especially, no. Yeah. 
Almost have my sea people as well, so that's good. Right, we're good to go. I'm pretty sure I would be getting more payoffs from fighting the sharks, but the sharks are also a lot more dangerous, so. Plus, I this is a new area. So that's something. Hmm. This is a little spooky. Oh, there it, it just keeps going. Okay, well. Oh, that was a mistake. Petrify powder. I do not like that. Okay, primary target. Mobs. How did you miss? I gave you such a big accuracy booster. Really? Really, Estelle? Ah. Oh, that's bad. Um... Did, did you just heal? You're dead. Okay. Well, this has sure taught me to never turn my back on mobs. Mobs. Let's make it a flame arrow, though, just in case. Just to be 100% sure. Okay, that's like really annoying. Could you please stop healing yourself? Which is not the end of the world. I should buy more status healing items, actually. I'm pretty sure I have a few holes in my rest in my recipes for that, so just having a few dedicated items for it is probably a good call.
Oh, I, I turned around. Uh, oh no. I did it again. No! There's more of them now! Oh no. You know what? Forget it. Well, I'm getting a lot of Sepith at least. Um... You're different. I guess this is the bit the quote unquote big monster. Oh, that's so many! And I can't use. Ow! Oh, you're really weak against elements of all kinds. But you're also so fast. Well... At least this will be a chance to regain a little bit of CP. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Most likely what happened is that I got hit with an instant death effect. Go with someone who has AoE. <laughs> I am also very concerned. Yeah. Yeah, they're kinda they're they're kinda rough. And I feel out of place, like the thing is the I feel like the game doesn't really tell you very well when something has a status effect. It's, you you never really know until it uh, until you've resisted it or you've been affected by it. Um, that's too slow. This should be quite effective though.
Okay. I just needed to use Ariel on <laughs> the Enjoy the show. <clears throat> Tons of sepet though. Okay. Uh I should probably heal after that. Um let's use that one. Okay, the next one down the line is here. There's nothing here. Okay. I feel like I'm probably gonna come in here at some point to, like, sneak into the castle or something. That feels like something that's gonna happen. Nope. I was honestly expecting that chest to be booby-trapped. Chomping spare rib. That's got to be food, right? Okay, um, where am I on the love left chart? About two, a little over 200 away for Estelle. 250, closer to 250 for Joshua. Um, around the same for Olivia. I don't think it's worth it for me to grind up another level in, down here. Not right now. At least. I think it would take too long relative to the benefits. Although, I should prob- looking at my CP, I should probably fill that up a little bit more. <laughs> With, uh, a certain- everyone to be at 200, but I would like everyone to be at at least a 100. I don't think I'm going to quite get to there because I don't want to backtrack, but uh, Joshua at least is over 100 now. You're probably going to be around... I'm going to rest at the inn on my way over to the tournament just to refresh my EP. I, well, the, the inn is going to be the cheapest anyway. So yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Actually, I say that. Okay, yeah. Two hundred is probably the best price. 
purple heal. I could actually make some food to recover CP. Hmm. That's tempting. My daughter and I have become completely addicted to the martial arts competition. Uh, hmm. Still issue- oh, actually I wanted to buy some of these. It seems odd that Mute has its own item. <laughs> sure, we'll take that as well. Oh. Wait. Do you have a copy of the Liberal News? You do not. I know that feeling. My sister's, uh, my sister's ignoring me, and I kind of miss her. Or, I mean, miss, little miss. Little. <sighs> I actually have some ice tea in the fridge right now. I got, I got like a, th I got like a seeper for a big pitchers to make my own iced tea. And it's it's really nice. Kitty's Guide to Savoring Delicious Tea. Rule number three. Keep your teapot warm. The phenomenon of tea leaves rising and swirling as they steep is called jumping. Jumping is a key to a properly made cup of delicious tea. But jumping leaves are caused by hot water. And if your teapot is cold, well, it's also said that round bottom teapot will help jumping occur more easily. I guess that makes sense to me. I mean, you can drink tea that's cold and it's great, but you shouldn't seep it when it's cold usually. I mean, there are certain kinds of teas that you can cold seep, but as a general rule, tea should be warm when it is seeped, and then if you want it cold, allow it to cool. Although even then is like iffy, I don't know. Like, there's a lot that goes into it. Like, you'll get a much bitter, more bitter flavor if you over seep tea, or if you seep it when it's too hot, which is why the temperature is important when you're seeping. Uh, not only can boiling water potentially burn it, but even if it does doesn't burn it, it can create an extremely bitter tea. Which, is, which I mean, if you're into that, it's fine. But personally, I'm not. <laughs> What good, properly prepared tea is usually not burnt. Let's just put it that way. Master Zin, welcome to the Grand Arena. Please note that tournament participants are- yeah, okay. Bring it on. Uh, we're in the blue room still. I wonder if I- oh? It's Dorothy! Mm hmm I never dreamed we made a game in this life. 
I mean, since you got in so much trouble after you boarded that factory ship. Anyway, I was gonna say, your friends here look kind of familiar. I seem to recall the counter you once in the city of Bose. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance once more, my uniquely charming lady. Oh, I remember now. It's the drink and run guy, and the very eastern clothing. Well, until yesterday, I was working on another story. Neil told me this morning that I should check out the martial arts competition to see you guys. You're as strong as he said you were. This is gonna make for some great pictures. Hmm. Okay. Ah, serious conversation. My old nemesis. <laughs> oh, I've seen that as an out of context uh, trails quote, actually. Well, don't let me get, don't let it get you down. But Olivia, <laughs> how very cruel is thou? And after our passions burned so strongly together just yesterday. Emma merely refuse, refuse to be discarded when circumstance affords me no immediate use. Would you please stop talking like that? <laughs> so I have had a thought. Yep. Mm-hmm. I love them both. We're facing the Sky Bandits. I guarantee it. I can come up here. Interesting. I mean, that's less of a seat and more standing in the aisle, I think, but you know, I'm not going to tell you other. Ah. Alright? Why do things have to turn out like this? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Don't be getting all sad on us now. Oh! I guess I was wrong. Ha! Huh. I was so sure that we would be fighting these guys in the second round. Come now, soldier. Don't you don't need to worry about this. Have we not been well behaved? Mm hmm. I don't think the sky bandits can beat. Okay. 
here's the thing. Do I think I will be fighting the... Either way, I am not going to be fighting the Capels. Because I do not think the Compels, the, the Sky Bandits, can beat either the Bracers or the Intelligence Division. So, am I going to fight the Intelligence Division, or am I going to fight the other Bracers now? That is the question on my mind. I would... If I was writing this, I would make it so that the Braces were in the final, but it might be more dramatic if it was the Intelligence Division. I don't know. It's a hard choice. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Damn straight we are. They were supposed to be our allies, and they screwed us over! They used us to help expand the Intelligence Division's influence, then tossed us aside. Listen, we don't want your damn pity. You owe us, and don't you forget it. In what way do we owe you? In what world do we owe you anything? Oh. Indeed. Thank you for keeping it to yourselves. Okay, us versus the Bracers. Okay, it'll be the Intelligence Division in the finals. Huh. Okay, I think I'm gonna go straight into the AoE spells. Wait, wasn't your scar on the other side before? I just, I want to. Ah! They're totally mirroring the sprites, depending on what side of the screen it, it, it's on. Okay then. Zin the Unmovable. I always wanted to go up against you at least once. What do you say we see if my sword can match up with your skill? And one genius performing the session. Hmm. I'm a little concerned about Joshua's arts being low in particular because he just has so many useful delay abilities. Well, I mean, you have the most damage. 
like you deal the most. You have the least HP. Actually, no, can't quite hit three of them. Okay, that should hit them all. Let's see. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with this. By my arts, be not as you appear. Ow, that hurt a little. Kind of a dick move. You're not using magic. <laughs> Get real. I feel like that would be too slow. Okay, we fainted one of them. Okay, one down. <laughs> Another one confused. Um... And I bet I can, no, not quite. Okay, well. knock them really close together now, which is pretty convenient. Ah, uh, they're still all gonna go for me, though. Okay, well, in that case... By my arch. Fall again as windswept snow! Oh, you healed. That was a revival technique. Hmm. Unfortunately for you, <laughs> she was still caught in my magical attack. I feel like I should get more Sepith for that, because I killed her twice. <laughs> I understand that it's not happening. 
Okay, still can't liquor you. Bow. Uh, you know, I don't want you to get off another heal, so... <laughs> I should also probably separate those two a little bit. I think I finally have a shot for Flicker. There we go. Take that. I just barely did enough damage. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's time to go start taking care of her, I think. Also, time to heal Joshua. Um, oof. Please don't shoot Joshua. What did I just say? Ah, oh, well. You just barely survived that. Hmm. You know, let's just let, let's make sure that Joshua isn't killed by an errant bullet. Um, that's a choice. Right there. Yeah. Savor the victory. We earn it. Just shy of leveling. For Estelle, at least. Actually, no. Olivia is getting really close as well. Probably before the next tournament, I'd level up Olivia... Uh, Estelle and Joshua. Before the next round. For the final round. You guys are no slouches yourselves. I don't think I'd have won if not for the others backing me up. You may have had Zin with you, but you each pulled your own weight. I knew fighting Shira's students was going to be tough, but I had no idea the black-haired kid would be such a tough cookie. <laughs> and I was thinking that this girl was going to put me to sleep. Perhaps later we can discuss each other's strengths over a glass of wine. The, Cap the Capels might win if the Intelligence Division do not get their the second lieutenant on their team. And I feel like that might be where this is going. I'm trying to tell you that we're not cheering you on! <laughs> I 
I guess the second lieutenant is the team captain, though. Hmm. I'd rather fight them than the intelligence division, to be honest. I'm kind of tired of fighting the freaking... <sighs> these guys. <laughs> You were orphans of the Kapua family. One of Urbonia's ruined and noble families. You lost your territory to a corrupt merchant and only survived by taking to air piracy. I was just thinking about what a touching story it is. Did you forget that we're part of the intelligence division? You'd better... You'd be better off abandoning your little quest for revenge and just serving your time quietly. It does seem that you're trying to go straight at least. Well, they're immediately going all in. Hmm. Yeah, they're not going to be able to beat the intelligence division. It's going to be a close fight where they narrowly beat the, these three, or at least get them down to critical. And then this guy will come in and just do that. Well, they bloodied him a little bit. Definitely not an opponent to be trifled with. I don't think he was even trying as hard as he could. I can't get a decent read on his real strength. Please tell me you're joking. The last technique just didn't feel like it was even all that focused. He's still got plenty we haven't seen. Don't try to cheer us up, please. We got slaughtered. Sometimes it comes down to more than just who's stronger. We're gonna get him back for you when we fight him tomorrow. I'm not fond of promising what I'm not sure I can deliver. What a fine saying. Tis as if you and Estelle speak with the same mind. But you, sir, with a more golden tongue. <clears throat> I 
I wonder how much of their sentence was communed for getting to the semifinals. Knowing the Duke, probably not a lot. We aren't going to be here tomorrow, but you damn well better win. More money! Which I'm going to promptly go spend on armor. Actually, I may not. <laughs> I don't think that the shield armor does that much for me. And it is so expensive. <laughs> We've got some stuff to do, so not tonight for us, I think. Yep, let's do that. Let's also stop by the guild if it lets me. Oh, really? Wow. Clearly, the Sky Bandits should reform their criminal ways. It, you, look, you, you've heard it. <laughs> you've heard it before. <laughs> hmm. There are a lot of soldiers out in the street na right now. They weren't here before. Hmm. down and arrest these terrorists. Uh, well, about that. The clash of two tirelessly honed fighting styles is such a, I mean, spectacle. <laughs> new recruits. I've got to say you put up one great fight. You really deserve that win today. Let's try it again sometime and see if your luck holds. Hey guys, I got some of the best shots of you in the last match. Okay, but do you have a new... no. I've already heard this. Rule number four, measure your tea. It varies based on the leaves you're using, but a general rule of thumb is that one cup gets one teaspoon, hence the name teaspoon. If you have too many leaves, the tea is bitter, and if there are too few, it's bland. That is very true. Yep, you absolutely will, which is why it's important, which is also why it's important to seep at the proper temperature and over the proper amount of time. Overseeping tea will just make it overpoweringly bitter.
Ever since that exclusive and liberal news, Carol Richard has been quite popular. There's a curfew now? Since when? You are very humble. By the way, have you learned any more information? More money! We did not rank up though. applicants of skill, but they lack a true burning passion. There are soldiers all over the place. Okay. Yeah, I suppose so. indeed. Chocolate strawberry. <laughs> yes, that sounds mouth-watering. Uh, how much money you'll be able to make tomorrow? Mm hmm Sure. Hmm. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. Yep, it's us. Apparently, you were quite the showstoppers, too. And I was cheering for you, of course, so I can hold my nose up high for a while. Charlie's team's gonna take it all. Chalies. I thought I was going to have to camp overnight to get some good arena seats. But my husband lined up for me. What? I mean, I feel like that was the wrong thing to say, but also, like, he's staying up all night for you! I mean, you're right, that chop- the, you are right, though, insofar as that chopness attitude is not really appropriate. Okay, I think I am going to stop off here for today. Next time, we will f finish up the tournament, and then more plot stuff will probably happen, I assume. So, uh, until then, I hope you all enjoyed, and have a fantastic day! Bye!